Well, the heck, here we are. So is Any Good's first movie podcast. I'm your host, Ryan. This is Scott, Jared, and Ben. Um, we're your hosts. We're talking about things like movies, trailers, reviews, everything about movies. So I thought we'd start off the first episode by talking about, like, what was the first movie I ever saw in a cinema? Um, mine was uh, The Little Mermaid back in 89, I believe it was, um, which was means I was four, no, three at the time, three at the time. I went with my two brothers um, and my two sisters um, back at Blacktown when they were had the village cinemas or Hoyt cinemas. This is a huge ramp. I just remember going down this huge ramp and it was like really, really long. And then you get into this little den of a cinema, which was shrouded by like crappy popcorn all over the floor and it was just like a really dingy kind of cinema but yeah little moment didn't matter it was huge you have a good memory that's just because the huge hallway it was like you know like i don't know going to the back cave for the first time it was like this terrible cinema but it had this huge hall that you just walk all the way down to and then you'd lead to your little cinemas and the cinemas were really dingy and crappy and i don't remember it being very so you were three you remember what you got from the candy bar no not that much To be fair, that was that was a pretty popular cinema for us back then. So I may have had memories from other other times we went. But that was um, that was funnily enough that was our local cinema as well. I grew up there as well. Um, Yeah. Yeah, do you remember the long hallways? Yeah. Yeah, what was with that? I don't know. It was, it was, just it like, was fucking dingy, that hallway. Yeah, it was like... <laughs> so the hallways was, were, like, was, more memorable than the actual films you saw there? Or? I don't know Probably. about more. <laughs> I don't know about more memorable, but... I think that was basically, memorable, like... memorable, maybe? I think that was basically, like, the cinema I saw every Disney film in. Like, there was that, and then it was Lion King. Then, or, no, it was Aladdin, and then it was Lion King. Or Beauty and the Beast, and then Lion King, whatever. Whatever the way it went... Um, you know, but we do learn from that specifically about you would probably don't remember any actual details of the film itself. I so. do, I do. I remember, I remember seeing. Um, I was gonna you thought Ariel was hot? No, I was <laughs> going to say a whole new world, but that's not even that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, um, yeah. no, but I do under remember. I, no, no, not under the sea. Um, Kiss the girl. No, um, look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? What is this song? I wish I could repeat. Part of your world. Uh, part of the world, yeah. Is that what I was uh, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, part of your world. You said a whole new world. Whole new world, of course. Yeah, part <laughs> of your world. Um, that's Dan what I remember. Disney part of your world. Naming remember, their songs uh, the same thing. Yeah, I remember that scene, you know, floating up to the top. And, yeah, yeah. And I think that started my love of doing the... Oh, floating to the top of things? Every time I get something victorious. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's quite fitting, really. That you would, that's, that was your first movie, considering you yeah. would end up marrying Ariel. In the I end. did. Not the actual, <laughs> let's clarify, not the actual yeah. voice actor. Yeah, my that wife's name's Ariel. Ariel uh, she's yeah. actually named after. She's by actually sister. animated. It's weird. Yeah, but we all we're <laughs> past it. Yeah, she's there would be there. so much erotic fan fiction out there for Ariel. <laughs> the rest of my house imagine. is just an aquarium. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is the other dry part. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Huh. That makes me Prince Eric. All right. Uh, Scott, what do we saw? Uh, I have fond memories of seeing... For some reason, I don't know, we kept going out to Richmond theatres. I mean, we always grew up in Cass Hill, so I don't know why we went out there, but there's a small twin cinema out there. And I remember seeing Peter Pan in some kind of re-release, I guess, in the early 90s. Um, I also remember seeing Hook at Parramatta Roxy, which sadly is now a nightclub, which is a... The worst, the nightclub. worst nightclub. But it's such a beautiful theater. It's so sort of yeah. Art Deco and stuff, and uh, that was a great time. Actually, I remember seeing Turtles Three there as well, but being really excited because the poster for Turtles Three was outside like the cinema door, and I thought it was hilarious. Hilarious enough that I had to pull my mother over to make her see the comedy. <laughs> the poster that, was. But hilarious. the poster said, you know, starring Leonardo and Michelangelo, and then it also said, and starring pizza, which I thought was the funniest <laughs> thing ever as a kid. I don't, I don't know why, but uh, was pizza. that the yellow poster with all? I, I like... don't really Turtle okay. Three man. I don't know what year that was, but. Terrible, terrible. Yeah, like 1994, I think. Yeah, so it was probably a bit later, I but I just one of those earlier film memories I have. But yeah, I remember so seeing was... Jumanji and um, and Men in Tights there, Robin Hood Men in Tights. Oh, really? Yeah, that was. I think that was the last film I saw at Roxy before it got pulled down. Right. Well, not pulled down. It's still there, but it's just a shitty. Bring back Roxy. Now. Hashtag. Before hashtag the, Roxy. Before its soul Roxy. was destroyed. <laughs> Always in our hearts. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, I'm actually going to steal that answer. I Peter Pan, same for me as well. Yeah. But it was at uh, we were visiting my nan lived in Tonkari. So it was like the Tunkari Twin Lakes Cinema. Yeah. It's not Man, there anymore. Twin Cinemas. It's not there anymore though. Where is Tunkari? Um, it's Foster. it's a sister Foster. city with like Foster. So oh, yeah, right. but Tunkari is where all the old people live. Oh, yeah. So it's almost like <laughs> they've just like you can live over the bridge. You can live over here. <laughs> it's the retirement uh, it's area. It's a tale of a tale Foster. of two cities, really. Yeah. But yeah, I don't remember any specifics. Of, I just remember, as you said, yeah. Hook. I like, remember for some reason Hook stood out. 
I remember seeing Aladdin, but I remember also I didn't want to see Aladdin. I thought I was too old for Disney movies by that age, and I really wanted to see Dennis the Menace. I actually quite enjoyed. We, anyway, parents took us to see Aladdin, and I remember pretending to fall asleep at the ending. So my parents thought I thought my parents would think I was bored, and that I was too old for this stuff. I really enjoyed the movie, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, I really want to see Dennis the Menace. It seems like my first memory is watching Sister Act. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what parent took you to that? Uh, no judgment. I, I, went, I went with my cousin. Okay. Little, little, yeah, yeah. yeah, little bit of judgment. A little bit of judgment. Yeah, a little bit of judgment. My other one is Cool Runnings because uh, okay, yeah, good. because yeah. then, yeah. Back. then um, me and my cousins um, just like endlessly quoted the movie for the next probably. <laughs> Did year. you put like dreads on? No, and... we never went that far. It was just like all of the like. <laughs> draw a line down the middle of your head yeah, so it yeah, looks yeah. like a butt. that was hilarious as a keeping eggs in your, yeah. your pants yeah yeah all right that on. sort of stuff but yeah I don't have a auspicious start to my <laughs> experiences that, that seems like you must have been late to the game because yeah. that would have been well, like, six, like, I probably have yeah like, you just you just previous one but my, something dark but my, must have happened yeah, and you just yeah, blocked, blocked out some blocked area out. of your life yeah, yeah. yeah I probably would have been taken to see um, Disney movies and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, it's the yeah. Renaissance, the early 90s. Exactly. That was yeah, usually yeah. the bee's knees yeah. of Disney. But for some reason, yeah, the sister act just sticks in my head for weird, Fair enough. weird reasons. Only slightly. <laughs> <Yeah. with me. laughs> it's I'll, a sister act I'll too. leave. I think that, uh, yeah, you uh, could, yeah. could. I have vague <laughs> memories of, uh, of uh, Batman and Forever, which like, I thought was the bomb diggity. Yeah. That, I think that might have been the first live action film I saw. I remember when I saw that, I was like shocked when uh, the Jim Carrey Riddler pushed that guy out the window. Like it was like, I don't know why, but maybe cinema death was just something. I'm just even, though it was, even though it was, there was probably a silly sound effect yeah, that accompanied yeah, that was very Schumacher, that yeah. film. Yeah. yeah. No. No, it's not good. But actually, the opening, <laughs> I thought that opening of that movie was creepy as well with uh, Tommy Lee Jones putting that guy the bank vault of acid. He was just trying to be the Joker. Yeah, well. Like, he was straight up like, mm, I'll just do Jack Nicholson. That'll be good. Yeah. Have you seen any of the animated movies? Yeah. Or animated don't, we don't want to start or... off getting those Tommy Lee lovers yeah. against <laughs> us. We don't, yeah, we don't just... want to get the Jones fan club. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. Lee Jones? Jones? Is Lee his middle name? I don't know. Is I just, a, all yeah. I know is... Is he a part of two families that has no, Lee and then he's Jones? It's not a dash. Yeah, it's not only hyphenated. So Tommy Lee, yeah, yeah. he has Who different was first? fan Tommy clubs. Tommy Lee, from no Tommy Lee Jones is all Tommy Lee Jones first. Yeah. Oh, yeah, interesting. I really hope there's not a porno out there with Tommy Lee Jones. <laughs> <laughs> I just, he's I, just I, I don't him. feel like <laughs> I don't care. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you should, if I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we got it's it. Only we got it. I can remember <laughs> Tommy Lee Jones. It's the pelvic thrust that's <laughs> putting yeah. us off. I think. Oh, yeah. The, oh, yeah, fair enough. I didn't fuck my wife. It was the one-armed man. I don't care. Uh, too far. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> That's good. Um, we, should totally, we should totally make that trailer though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that would be pretty good. Yeah. The porno of uh, the fugitive. Yeah. Um, so I want to talk a bit more of a current topic. I thought um, maybe bringing up if you guys thought the Rogue One would have a, a title crawl, like an opening crawl, like the original Star Wars films had, and you know what would it be? This is a tough one. Yeah. It's, you know, I, I'd straight up. I just, I just can't see them doing it because. You know they want to be clear about. Saga. They want to be clear about keeping the the saga films separate from these ones. But having said that, I don't know how like what yeah, we would do in so its place. I, I played a lot of Star Wars video games back then, and every one of those had the opening crawl, and it always seemed so stupid when it said like Rogue Squadron Two, Rogue Leader, as like <laughs> like across like fifty lines of text. You know, it was yeah. just it seemed so forced that they were trying to like force that into the Star Wars brand. That being said, even with when the Clone Wars film came out and they just had they had like a war chatter over the Lucasfilm logo and then just the blam of the Clone Wars logo with a slight variation of the main theme, it felt weird. Like it just didn't feel like Star Wars. It just felt like this weird offshoot. And I know that's what they're trying to aim for with Rogue One, but I I I, I don't I'm very curious to see how they balance it because they they need to stay connected to oh, the rest. Because you of don't them. have the Lucasfilm logo anymore, do you? Or yeah, you yeah, 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 that's, that's so all you have. You just missing the 20th century fox. Yeah. The yeah. Thing. So all right. So let's they, say it. they don't even put the sorry, just button, they don't even put the um the Disney logo anymore. Yeah. Which, or not anymore. They never put the Disney logo. Because that would smart. feel. I think that yeah, would feel. Yeah. They don't do it with Marvel either, and I think it's smart to keep that mm. branding. Yeah. So what would you? I mean, what? Just how would it start? If it doesn't have the crawl, then how would you do it? So the only a cool idea I thought is what if they just had the opening crawl that they played the first. 10 minutes of A New Hope and then like suddenly just jump back and said this is how we got here. <laughs> just full on non-linear like, yeah, yeah. like, see the starship fly yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just, like 24 <laughs> hours earlier yeah, yeah. Yeah, like they yeah. freeze frame it and <laughs> do like a <laughs> or do it in chapter <laughs> <laughs> when did it become Lauren Order <laughs> <laughs> chapter titles Star like these Wars are the crimes <laughs> I mean, like, like Tarantino style yeah, just non-linear 
I will be kind of curious to see how it plays out because I think there's such an affinity to the opening score and that crawl that that is Star Wars. And I know, you know, they're trying to keep this stuff as separate as they can, but really, it is Star Wars at the end of the day. So they've got. I reckon they've got something cool up their sleeve. Like they're gonna have to do. They can't just. There's gonna be something in its place. Yeah. I don't think it'll just be the film title and then the film will start. There's got to be. They're gonna have to see. I'd much way. rather not have anything like. If they're going to do it, just have whatever they do for Rogue One, then the next, the Hans Holo spinoff will just be its own thing, and then each of them will have yeah. their own, you know, unique stories. But I feel like that opening crawl is so Star Wars that I hope that nothing is lost by losing it. Maybe if they're calling it a Star Wars story, maybe it's like a we, we come in on it, like zoom a in on a book, like a book, yeah, <laughs> but it's just like a hologram kind yeah. of thing. Bastion or, or maybe someone's reading. <laughs> maybe someone's reading the story. It's like Han yeah. Solo, Han yeah. Solo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Princess Bride. Like it's, 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 <laughs> Kylo <laughs> Ren, young Kylo Ren. As you that's, wish. <laughs> that's how the that's how episode episode seven started. Yeah. That'd be amazing. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, that's, that's maybe it's Chewie it. reading. <laughs> yeah, it'll be subtitled. <laughs> we'll actually be this. We'll start yeah. in the Christmas special. Yeah. And, then we'll, and then we'll travel back. <laughs> yeah, no, I think we've answered it right there. I'd like to see them just go straight into the. Yeah, the action. Just yeah. like the start of not even battle. not even yeah, not even have the Lucasfilm. Maybe that comes in after. Yeah, like, yeah, you, that's ha- like you have a like a cold open on this. Yeah, yeah, that's a th- they could do that. I think. I mean, you think about like films. Star Wars has never had opening credits. Really, we have a crawl and whatnot. So I'm kind of curious whether that changes or. But you could just jump straight into an Omaha Beach style. That's kind of how Marvel have been doing it lately yeah. as well. They so. just have the logo and then whatever. A and scene. Then, yeah. And I think personally it needs to start off in a, a very iconic Star Wars kind of way. Like I know it's, it probably won't have the opening crawl. I don't, I yeah. don't think it will personally. Uh, but I think it needs to start off with either the shot of the Death Star being built. Maybe I think that that shot in the trailer where the, the Death Star is actually getting that, the gun being put into yeah. the, 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 the space. Right. Oh, sorry. Super laser being put into the space station. <laughs> and the, uh, the Fan super correction Star number one. <laughs> oh, sorry. The Star Destroyer has got to be corrected again. The Star Destroyer, Imperial Star Destroyer. Do you have like a number for it? Maybe like... S seven oh three two Devastator. Devastator. Isn't it? No, no, come on. <laughs> anyway, uh, anyway, so the starter story being, you know, sitting next to it, maybe that's the opening scene. Because yeah. it's gotta have that kind of like planety kind of feel. So you know you're watching Star Wars, I think. Like if it starts going into like Omaha, like like style, like Seven Pratt Ryan style where it's you know, the drop ships are coming in, similar to what episode seven started, I guess. I think that's just too I think outside of that opening crawl, episode seven even felt a bit weird starting that way. Like very battle in. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, with the um, shaky cam stuff. Yeah, yeah, like the, yeah. all the stormtroopers rushing out into um, but I almost uh, Jakku and killing. Yeah. I always the, felt like that scene as a way to kind of say this is new Star Wars. This is this is our this is what we're doing with it. Yeah, they kind of. Did, I mean, that was kind of taken from the prequels, I think, because Revenge of the Revenge yeah. There's of some Sister. of that stuff. There's some more kind of shot footage, even in Attack of the Clones on Geonosis, where it's kind of a lot of zoom, in, just shots that you weren't expecting to see in in Star Wars, and I think. We're going to see even more of that within Rogue One because really, if they're trying to define themselves as something completely different and, you know, this war film that they've been talking about for the last two years, and that's the only way they can really try and differentiate themselves from what's already on screen. Uh, So summer just finished. A whole lot of disappointing films, I felt like. Uh, Uh, You know, disappointing over disappointing over disappointing. Uh, Very, yeah, Yeah. very small amount of films are actually pretty good. Um, So I was just going to ask what was your most disappointing film of the summer? Start with you, Scott. Uh... You know, it wasn't a great summer, obviously. Um, and there's like there's a lot of mediocre, mediocrity, whatever, you know what I'm saying. Mediocre. Average films. Um, <laughs> that, and I think there was nothing that really stood out to me as like a super disappointment, but I did not like Independence Day. I, a resurgence. I really loved that original film, and I thought this new one just lost all that kind of cheesiness that this... Yeah. That 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 first film had. It, it had cheesiness. It just it, didn't have the right It wasn't the right stuff, yeah, yeah. You know, and like... I think they lost me. I just wasn't interested in future warships battling future looking alien ships. I think yep. there's some cool, you know, there's something really cool about watching the F 16s or whatever fly up against the alien spacecraft in that first film. And then I felt like everything else they did in this this movie was just pandering to that first film audience. Oh, we'll have Bill Pack, Bill Pullman, sorry, <laughs> do uh, another. <laughs> I mean, Bill Paxton would have made the yeah, film better. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, definitely. <laughs> the Bill Pullman fan club yeah, is Bill- now offside. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. If Bill Pullman didn't come back and they just Monster. swapped in with Bill Paxton, I think everyone would have been fine with that. Yeah, I think. yeah, I agree. Oh, but, an idea. but like, yeah. just, I think they should have subbed in Bill Paxton. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen it. People that made it. Did you? Did you? Could, what about that shot of um, of the son of Will Smith's son walking into the and White House and his, seeing? Oh seeing my his god! Dad. Yeah. Oh, Actually, god. I said that. To I'm so ben. proud of you. We, <laughs> we, we, <laughs> when we saw this for the review, I said, 
le- legitimately 100% there will be a shot of yeah. somebody <laughs> looking at a picture of what's Yeah, but I thought it was going to be like a, like a, uh, a picture in a locker yeah. or a wallet or something. <laughs> Not a fucking a locker. Mu- no, locker. <laughs> oh, like, like the, that makes much more sense. <laughs> yeah. My yeah. heart yeah. will yeah. go on. <laughs> I didn't expect the fucking mural in the White House. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's just like a publicity still from the first yeah, movie. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's the yeah. one. Yeah. It's terrible. It's and it's so it would have been better if he was like um, some like a minotaur or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I mean, w- I don't think the film would have... It's probably a smart thing on Will Smith to actually oh, not yeah. do the film. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's that's run, his run run I mean, Nothing run was lost by him that. not being there. I don't think he's. I mean, like, I, don't, I don't know if he saw a script or anything, but <laughs> like, was there a script? Yeah, uh, yeah questionable. But like, I don't think. He, I think it's such an ensemble cast in that first film that just losing Will Smith is not, you know, didn't train wreck that film by mm-hmm. itself. And no. why did Vivica a. Fox? Oh, that was sure. nothing wrong. But that's the thing. They got all these just people in. It was just, just for the sake of nostalgia Spoilers, almost. Yeah. Um, and, and, it, and then they every... gave the weird um, scientist guy way too much airtime. Yeah. The, the crazy... Data. Yeah. What's his name? Yeah. Bracken Oakish is his <laughs> name in the film. But uh, Brett Spiner. Brent Spiner. Yeah. Um, but yeah, in the score I did, I did not care for that guy in the first place. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, we're bringing him back. Yeah, bringing weird. him back wasn't a huge boon to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, that's my pick for the most yeah, disappointing pick, of, the, pick. of the summer. Yeah, I think that was pretty disappointing too. How about you, Jared? Uh, it's just just a whole lot of disappointment. Right. <laughs> yeah. Give you some thinking time if you yeah, need Yeah, you can jump in. I'm struggling. Uh, I think X-Men Apocalypse was a weird uh, one because it had, I don't know, like, I think Brian Singer just needs to step away from from the series. I think yeah. I didn't. Th- yeah, and that's that's a film we actually did give the film a yes, but it was one of those ones. There's a lot of films this year that were sort of just a bit meh, and that was one that fell in the middle. Yeah. So it was kind of like we felt like we had to recommend it for people that do enjoy the X Men series. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Days of Future Past was so successful for them, and I felt like I mean it didn't. It wasn't a wasn't a five star film or anything, but it showed that they probably like there was potential for them to be like Marvel, yeah. but then they kind of just, I don't know, they made the wrong decision with the villain. Yeah. <laughs> and especially poor Oscar Isaac, like <laughs> doing underneath those prosthetics, barely recognizable. Yeah. You know? And then there's like, I didn't, yeah, I didn't think the, like, I didn't think the prosthetics and all that were that like, it was, it was fine. I just thought the film was, it was nowhere near as good as days of future past, but which was itself was nowhere near as day as good as um, first class. And I yeah, think it's yeah. just this, downhill trend that I think just yep. bring back another See, director other than I'm going to be in the minority that didn't like First Class I, I don't think you are I think, I think actually we are in the minority of really? didn't like yeah because a lot of things that I watched and it's like everyone shits on First yeah. Class like yeah, it, it was not like, really, it was I really like enjoyed it. an Austin yeah. Powers movie it was <laughs> that, that, that's I think I like everything with Kevin new. Bacon felt like it was a bond it was, it was like a bond he was yeah. sitting in a bond but, but that's, yeah, yeah, that was great was for the time and like, January yeah. Jones was fucking terrible <laughs> she's great to look at though yeah but she did nothing yeah. she was I, like she was like a cardboard cut out of January Jones she's oh I think she's a cardboard <laughs> cut out to begin with no, um, if you watch Mad Men she's she's a good actress but okay. she just but even Fair enough. What, so, for whatever reason Apocalypse, like even the um, Quicksilver sequence, was yep. just a copy of what they'd already previously done. Oh, that worked well last time. Let's just do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. it was a it was a cool sequence, but I it just, wasn't super original. I just think you know the fact they struggle because Magneto's obviously always been the villain in, in the whole thing, and he was kind of sidelined a bit. Yeah, but why make they can't, Mystique the main character? They struggled with all they those have to characters. Pay Jennifer Lawrence, oh my like God. They, yeah, I know. I feel no. like because um, once you get an Oscar, you need to have the lead role in everything. Well, it's like Halle Berry true. in uh, she wanted uh, more time as Storm in the, yeah. the you know that first set of X Men films. They yeah, you were just she saying just that blow away. Um, <laughs> the <laughs> Apocalypse was a uh, like a bad villain to choose, but Apocalypse is like one of the TV top X Men villains. Like, no, I don't doubt that the, um, the character you know, Magneto in the and Ellie, books. Uh, well, yeah, 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 like I just think they missed a lot. Like a lot of the. I think myself personally and you know a lot of people that were watching the trailer and stuff like that saw that scene where Apocalypse grew in size and was strangling Xavier in the yeah. you know in the um, Xavier's school for the gifted children or gifted youngsters what is a gifted whatever it is uh, anyway that's, that's it. I think it's youngsters yeah. anyway point being when he was strangling him, that seemed you know very Apocalypse like that was that's his power and that turned out to size, be a... super strong you know it was a dream yeah. sequence and I think that was just like. The epiphany of disappointment of that film, like yeah. Didn't they help could have really like a Power Rangers. Film yeah, no, well. I mean, but I mean, that that was definitely helped out when the film was actually released. I think it was just Fox, uh, Entertainment Weekly, I believe. Yeah. I believe that was 
that was. He did look by. silly though. I mean, it, what he wasn't purple, but he was blue. Yeah, he but still, he was very he's still, similar to like if you've seen the comic books, that's exactly what he looks like, basically. Like, well, that's just that's just, just a, a good example of you know something that doesn't translate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. but I, I did like the uniforms at the end that they yeah, brought. Yeah, I yeah, liked, they I, more the, of the, the retro that feel. Dangerous, of the, that danger room, like last two minutes, was really cool. Yeah, yeah. But I, I just think yeah. Overall, sorry, Scoot. It just them they had momentum coming out of Days of Future Past, and now I think people don't really have a craving for another X-Men no. film. Yeah. No, and, and I think Deadpool kind of, well, we can just sideline the X-Men yeah. characters and Deadpool. That's cool. Yeah. I think the, the, the other issue I had with Apocalypse and actually Independence Day as well is that the stakes are too high. They're literally pulling, like how powerful are these, is Magneto, man? When, He's pulling we, metal yeah. out of the ground. Like, that's it. Like, yeah. how, how, how do great? Go from that? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He um, can do that. That is that is a, that is an attribute that, of his great, of but, his, of his powers, That's great, but, but it doesn't allow you to yeah, 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 you know, yeah, to, yeah, exactly. to beat that. How do you no, get no, any greater than that? I haven't seen Apocalypse, but like if he's the top villain, where do you go from there? In yeah. The, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like it's um, all the all the all the stories from then on are going to be lesser. What well, about? If you, I mean, if you haven't, this is going to be a bit of a spoilers. But uh, if you have seen it, it's, it looks like it's heading to. Another Phoenix um, saga. Uh, so similar to what they did with number three. You're like, uh, now uh, Phoenix. They're just, now they're just rebooting the, exactly, <laughs> the originals. Exactly, yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure Brian Singer is basically saying that number three didn't happen. And I think yeah. that's why we had to give it a, a yes. Basically, if it's if it's better than number three, it has to have yeah. a yes. Like, yeah, number yeah. three is just The timelines absolute. are all over the place. Yeah, and that's, that's my... Continuity. This, yeah, series, continuity this series sucks. is the worst for continuity. Like, it's yeah. it's basically saying, like, the first four movies didn't happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's and right. Then, oh, no, no, no. The first, the first two did. It's saying mm. basically the third one didn't happen. Because How can you pick when, which ones you yeah. It's That's such fanboy crap. Oh, no, but that's right. no, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, completely. You're right. Sorry, you're right. Well, who's right to do with Superman, in my opinion? It's such fanboy crap that we feel like we can go and rewrite film like history like oh for continuity say these two didn't happen anymore yeah. that's why I'm so against this new alien fifth alien film that is going to try and rewrite three and four just suck it up and why? deal with it suck it up and deal with it no yeah. I can't it, well, two weeks it, back two was, oh fair enough it, it happened yeah, it happened. There. yeah. I don't yeah. think they need to bring back Hicks but I'm, I'm happy to no. bring him back I don't think bring yeah. back Ripley one last time give her one more Biff at the old this, this is but, this uh, is the conversation no, for another no time. Yes, yes. No one knows. Why? Needs to be, why? Well, let's let's do it, man. Let's get into it. Why? <laughs> it's just, it's you know, Ma- Michael Bean. I don't think, I don't think Michael Bean. I don't about. know if Michael Bean could do a, another film, could he? He. I feel like he's. He just has to look like this. Hold on. You know, like <laughs> just. <laughs> he's doing, he's still face. doing films now. Yeah, yeah. Like he's still not. He's, he's just gaunt, a bit but other than that, slower than he. Used to but be. I mean, that's look. Well, Harrison Ford can't do an interview, but Please he can. An interview, Michael he can still kill us as Han Solo. <laughs> <laughs> that, sorry. The, Michael, the Michael Bean fan club can it's, send. It's, uh, I have to talk to Jennifer, his wife. His wife is the issue. Getting through to her. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe, let's delete, maybe let's just delete this whole section. Yeah, just uh, away yeah. from the mic. Yeah. Um, yeah. No. 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 Um, let's back off the bean. All right. All right we'll, we'll cut that. Well, Jared, do you? Um, <laughs> Um, I, I'll, I'll, I still don't have a disappointing. I'll go. I'll I, go I guess, I'll go I, guess I don't have a disappointing one because I didn't really have high hopes for any of the movies. Right. So the whole summer was just disappointing for you. Yeah. I d- like. I didn't see anything coming out that I thought. Oh yeah. That like I have to see that. Like I haven't. Oh, seen yeah, ha- I haven't seen. <laughs> I haven't seen half of those movies because like if it wasn't a review for the site, I haven't seen it pretty much. Right. I saw, I saw Finding Dory. That was about it. And that Finding was Finding Dory, good. the highest grossing movie of the year. Yeah. How did that happen? Surprising, yeah. How did that happen? That was ridiculous. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure that uh, DC would have hoped to have that title. Yeah, <laughs> but I hope they would at least yeah. with Batman, yeah. and then if not again with Suicide Squad. Suicide yeah. Squad should have been the biggest movie of the year. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, they were saying uh, it was tracking outside of Rogue One. Yeah, yeah. Um, which leads on to my most disappointing movie, which is um, Suicide Squad. Um, I had massive hopes for that movie going into it um, with the trailers, the three different trailers that were great. You know, the, the, I think everybody had massive hopes. For that. Oh, it looks so good. Had yeah. everything going for yeah, it. Yeah, Mark did a really good job with uh, that. Oh my God, everything. It's one um, of those polishing a turd. Right? Yeah. <laughs> exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, yeah, the director was hot off the heels of Fury and... Um, and uh, yeah, it's hot. Oh, oh, yeah. End of Watch, though. Or end, end, no, yeah. End of Watch. Um, Fury was great. I liked I'm keeping the one to call him David Yates. What's his last name? David Ayer. Uh, yeah. uh, David Ayer. Sorry, yeah. I'm going to do that one more time. What's his Schwarzenegger film? David um, Yates is the host. I know, I know. Yeah, that's what I was going for. Um, yeah, so David David Ayer was, yeah. Is it Ayer? Ayer. David Ayer. It's not Ayer? It's not David Ayer. It's not the power of when they beat someone, right? 
I don't know. It's, maybe this is a strain accent. We'll just we'll blame it on that. The strain yeah, yeah, yeah. accent is David Ayer. 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 Good day, mate. A-Y-E-R. Yeah, yeah A-Y-E-R. Just... Yeah. <laughs> A-Y-E-R. Um, <laughs> For the kids uh, saying it yeah. home. Um, yeah, I don't know. That, that film just had everything going for it. A great script, or what looked to be a great script. Um, great trailers, great actors, great director. I think David... David um, <laughs> Ayer. <laughs> David Ayer has been doing a lot of great things recently. Like, um, like Basically, every movie he's touched has been pretty cool yeah. uh, maybe not sabotage that much yeah. which was the Arnold Schwarzenegger did, did he have but like, is he a big comic book fan or I don't was know. he coming like, out I mean, of I'm from not a... personal friends with him but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but from what I could tell clearly no I'm going to say no because I mean there's a lot of connections that there could have been could have happened and stuff like that that wasn't really there there was a lot of things that happened in the comics mm. that was there like the how many guys have seen it none of you nope I think you're the only one that's seen it. Holy hell. Well, yeah. Okay, well, that's you're a proof. That's that that being honest the, that is a And that's purely because we haven't seen, seen good reviews. Like, yeah, the reviews haven't been great. So. Yeah. Wow. Okay, cool. Yeah, so there's a lot of things that do connect to the comic books. Like, there'll be... There's a scene where, um, you know, this guy... Um, what's his name? Oh, man. The Joker. Adam Beach plays him. I can't even think of his name. He's such an off-site character. Um, something to do with... Like, it's like tightrope or, you know... Uh, something to do with... Anyway. Um, what's... What's when you get hang- hangman. <laughs> hangman? Hangman, something like that. But yeah. what's it actually called when you when you when you tie it? No, Lassie. something like that. Anyway, fuck it. Um, you know, uh, even Adam Beach's character um, when he died, that was a sequence. You know, specifically from one of the Suicide Squad comics, um, Boomerang. You know, suggests that the the bomb on their neck is an or in their side their head. Sorry, doesn't actually work. And so he's like, you know, fuck it, I'm out of here, and shoots off his little shoot away gun Slipknot is his name fucking Slipknot that's what his name is anyway Slipknot um, <laughs> you know shoots away with his little grappling hook and flies off and you know in that instant he's blown up with his head and that isn't like the first 10 minutes of the movie but um, you know spoiler massive oh, spoiler you. Uh, see the movie <laughs> Watch your, watch your movie again. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the first act of the movie. I don't think it's a spoiler. If it's in the, I think in the second or third act, that's a spoiler. First right. act, it's part of the trailer. It's you know. I don't, you, I don't but, think it's part of the. trailer. Well, it should be. Uh, it, you know. Anyway, <laughs> I don't think, that, that I don't think they just didn't like, put major character deaths yeah. in the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> Not a major character death. And the reason, one of the reason why you knew. Basically, did right. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah, let's talk about Paramount. Oh, and their oh shitty my trailers. god, that was awful. Um, leave that for another episode. Um, but I, um, I didn't watch that for that reason. Ugh. Uh, look, I didn't. I didn't hate that movie. Anyway, point being, let's move on. Let's move on. Um, so, what I was trying to say was, I did. I think I everyone did. hated. It. I, I don't think. Seeing it again, I didn't much. like it as much. Yeah. Um, but when I first saw it, I think Arnold Schwarzenegger coming back to and beating himself up. That was kind of balling. Uh, but the rest of that film kind of was just like a slide was so you know, slope. Poor, um, poor Amelia Clark. Oh, uh, her career. Just see you later. Mm. She's um, fine for another two years. Don't worry. Yeah. Yeah, but then what? She got nothing. She'll sort herself. Out. She's got ready comedy. She's dude. got sappy rom coms. Yeah. Yeah. That actually made a made it a fucking load, load of money. Load of money. What yeah. the hell? Like two hundred million dollars. <laughs> um. Yeah. Fair enough. People um, love that shit. Yeah. The posters, man. The posters always the same. Yeah. People. People. It looked like Floating the About heads. Time poster. Oh right. Yeah. And yeah, everyone yeah, loves yeah, that yeah. movie. So yeah. I'm the, watch About the, Time. The different levels looking. Yeah. 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 Every romantic comedy. Yeah. it's like McConaughey posters where he's always leaning on something yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's just oh man um, I've got to do it except for Interstellar it would have been kind of weird he was a spaceship he could have been leaning on the eye of Interstellar on the bookcase on, uh, on the bookcase. Uh, on the banner that's what I am on the bookcase the bookcase would have been awesome yeah so what my main point was that the, the trailer and the movie had everything going for it so really it should have been a great film so I, like, I don't know where it went wrong is, it, I mean, is there a lot of stuff left on the cutting room floor that's the rumours the rumor there is I mean, but nothing's been released yet so like but, who knows but Rumours has it there's a lot of, lot more Joker stuff. Jared Leto even has said that you know he, when they shot the film, he was under the impression that there's going to be a lot more. He said, I think his direct quote was, there was a whole film shot essentially for Joker that they, they could make from the cutting room floor stuff. So That was just probably because he just kept acting. Yeah. Like, they just yeah. kept recording. And yeah, they're like, dude, oh, look. dude, like, go to lunch. Yeah. Like, <laughs> we don't need any more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did Jeff Johns, uh, the uh, DC guy, uh, was he part no, of that? No, so he, he came on directly at the end of that film. Right, so, okay. Um, I he's think fingers crossed for the rest of them. Yeah, he's well, look, Jeff Johns is great. Jeff the, Johns uh, is great. Justice League. Yeah, Jeff Johns has been in charge of like all the TV stuff. So like everything, like Green Arrow, The Flash, um, the Supergirl, Legends and of um, Legends of Tomorrow. Yep. Which Legends of Tomorrow, not that amazing, but Ash, uh, Ash, um, Arrow, and I like uh, that Flash. Than the Flash amazing. Okay. They're great. No. You like Arrow better than the Flash? I like Legends of Tomorrow better than the Flash. Who are you? Flash is too. Uh, who are you? Uh, <laughs> it's a bit Dawson's Creek. 
bit dorsal. It is a little bit. It is yeah. a little bit. Yeah. So is so is Green Arrow. They've got that yeah. very much like relationship ties yeah. on the other side of it. But I, I think it. I, I don't care. You don't care. No, no. I think it adds to it. I like the group dynamic of the. Legends. Okay. I've been. A lot of those characters. I've only watched five episodes. A lot of those characters from Legends of Tomorrow are from those series. So like, yeah. um, you know, some of them showed up in the Flash. Some of them showed up in yeah. Ad, Ar- in Ar- Well, it seems like they're sort of all interconnected worlds now. Yeah. When they die in one, they show up in another one. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And now they're um, signing them to contracts which go across the DC TV yeah, they universe. Why wouldn't yeah. they? DCEU. Yeah. The, mm. the, the TV. The Legends. U. Oh, it's a sub sub. Yeah, it's set just the of... TV universe. It's right. funny how much DC can kill it in the TV universe. Like they yeah. are killing it in the TV universe, but yeah. the movies and it's just like. And Marvel, I still, Marvel, I think Marvel still got the edge there though. They're gritty. The they're the yeah. gritty. They have the gritty cable yeah. stuff, so uh, Netflix stuff. But it's so funny because they not always the Disney, swap, right? Not the Disney owned stuff. Maybe so maybe like so, the yeah. Agents of Shield, Agent Carter, mm. the, but Daredevil. Um, Jessica Jones yep. Luke Cage looks awesome yeah it's but good. it's almost like they've swapped because DC's like got these gritty you know gritty dark the films, films yeah. and their TV shows are quite well, light and bubbly I, I think, yeah. they, need, I think the they need the counterpoint yeah, yeah, yeah I think yeah. If, For sure. if it was all the same then they'd be like why is this yeah. a movie yeah yep. well, what and do you think DC needs to do to fix themselves don't let Zack Snyder <laughs> <write anything. laughs> Yeah, Zach. I think don't like I don't think I think don't let Zach and I touch anything. I think that's probably I, I a good idea. I think he's a good like, visual director. I just don't think that he he should not write anything ever. Right. He's he's like Baz Luhrmann. They should stay far far away from scripts. But I'm slightly hoping they've learned their lesson because there was all these. They sent a whole bunch of uh, film critics to the set of Justice League, and they basically came out and said, you know, we've learned that people don't want to see their superheroes deconstructed. And I think as long as you can take that mentality, hopefully going mm-hmm. forward. We might see a bit of a change. They don't even do a good job of deconstructing them, though. Yeah, well... It's just... Like, you see a whole... Two films now, and I still don't really have much of it. Like, Superman just just leaves me feeling cold. Superman is... He's kind of like that as a character, though. But they, that's what they... They, Chris set, out, they not. set out to try and... To try and, You're like... living in the past. No, <laughs> man. Move on, man. Move on. Quit living in the past. <laughs> Truth, justice, American way, man. They set out with good intentions, because they obviously yeah. wanted to Nolanize the whole thing. Yeah. But, but they're not Nolan. Not, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not Chris Nolan. No. Um, and by Nolan, you mean like they had him as a producer on Man of Steel, and then he was just, kind of <laughs> just, away, right? just I'll be over here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bye. Yeah. Bye. It's like the he home and yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hate to say it, but the way they fix it is being more like Marvel, yeah. essentially. Bring, right. more, bring more fun to it. People, yeah, and people I think, don't want to be that depressed for two hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, from I what we from what we've seen so far, it's just like maybe we're going to get that direction. Maybe, especially with the um, Barry Allen. Yeah, and I think there are certain characters that naturally are like that. Hmm. I mean, Batman is always going to be dark and brooding. Yeah. I mean, Superman should be, you know, a, a but Boy Superman, Scout. But Superman has that ability to be light. Yeah, so, and I, my favorite things in both Man of Steel and Batman vs Superman is when he's you know he was for the two seconds he was playing Clark Kent yeah. and then you know he had a little bit to do with that in uh, yeah. the Dawn of Justice but I think that's such a great big part of that Superman character that jettisoning in it you know you're just left with this superhuman who deathly boring yeah exactly thing that has nothing the weight of the world on his shoulders <laughs> yeah all right, cool. All right, well, let's finish it up there. Um, and if you want to check out more, you can head to our website, soisanytgood.com. Uh, check out our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. We're always there talking back. Um, and until next time, this is So Is Any Good signing off. Bye. Bye.